Hey everyone, this is Scott from the Photographer's SEO community. We put out in the community forum asking for uh, members that would not mind public SEO audits of their site. And we're doing video screencasts of each of these audits that we're doing. We're doing about three or so of them. And we're utilizing our new, new painless photography SEO audit uh, tool that we made available. And the, this tool is available free on our site. So uh, feel free to download it. And now let's get right to it. The first site we're going to look at is Hawaii Wedding Photography. That's the keyword. And the actual site is vip-wedding-hawaii.com. So the first thing I noticed when going to the site is that the, um, there is an EN at the end, which means that there's multiple languages available on this site. The EN is not um, going to hurt the site's rankings that much. Um, if, if any, it'll be very minute. However, it's not the ideal thing to have in there. Ideally, you just want it to be the domain, that's it. But first thing to do is see if your site is indexable, as you can see in the audit. So it's a domain indexable. So go to Google, type in site, colon, and then put in your domain without the www or the http colon slash slash. If you start getting results, that means that something is indexable. And as we can see here, most of them are the en. Now, let's go back. So domains are indexable. We can check that off. Permalinks are search engine friendly. As I mentioned already, we have the en. But then let's check out another page. So I'm going to go to um, before your wedding, let's say wedding packages. Okay, so we have en slash services slash before your wedding slash wedding packages. Uh, the ideal permalink, the ideal slug, the everything after the domain would really just be wedding packages. So it would look something like this. Now, um, even better would be to utilize the keyword. So something like Hawaii wedding photography packages. So if you do that, that is actually getting your keyword in there. You're utilizing long tail keyword and it's um, a secondary keyword as well. So you're utilizing all these different tactics and your URL is much cleaner. So let's see, what's next? Um, actually, let's try, I want to also want to try the blog because I think I noticed something before when I first went to look at the site. So here's the blog, and let's go to the most recent and look at the permalinks of the blog article. So this is an actual blog article, and that's not search engine friendly at all. So really the best thing to do would be to change the blog um, style of permalinks and utilize your long tail keywords. So the title of your article is engagement. So the title I would say switch it to is something with um, with your keyword in there. So, um, you know, if, if you're, one of your keywords is Hawaii wedding uh, engagement photography, I would switch it to that and get that in your, um, in your title and also in your um, URL. So now the next thing is keywords in URL. So as I just mentioned, um, you really don't have them in there. Uh, some, they're in there a little bit but not, not um, as much as really you would want them to be because really you just have, here's photography packages. You want Hawaii wedding photography packages to be in your URL. Keywords are at the beginning of title tags, page names, no more than 70 characters. So I'm assuming this is your title tag, which we'll find out right here, inspect elements. And yes, uh, it is your H1, which is good. So that's, that's good. You have wedding photography packages, uh, Hawaii wedding photography packages. I'm not sure why it's in a span here, but that's okay. It doesn't make a difference. And let's see your title. Hmm. Where is it? Let's try it this way. Okay. So your title tag is just photography packages. So this needs to be changed to your H1, Hawaii Wedding Photography Packages. Next up is keywords are in the uh, beginning of your meta descriptions. So 
So let's see if you have um, meta description. Yes. Hawaii wedding photography packages. So you have your H1 in the description, which is good. However, you need more in here. You need to talk about the, the packages because in, on the search results uh, on Google, what you see here in the SERP, you're going you're gonna to see something that just says, um, let's actually, let's see if I can find it so you can see what I'm, what I'm trying to get to here. Let's do this. Okay, so your SERP is this. So this is not very useful for users. So while, yes, this is um, coming up in Google, that's not going to really help users. You need this to say Hawaii wedding photography packages, and you need um, a description at the after the keyword that is more user-readable. Um, now let's go back to the home page and see what, it does, what, it, what you have on the home page as well. So on the home page... Um, let's see. You have Hawaii wedding photographer as the as the uh, H1 on the home page. Um, that's fine. And then let's check out your title. The top. Okay, I would uh, recommend capitalizing these, but um, it's good that it's there. And description. Okay, so your description is good here. Um, so on the home page, it looks like you have the title, the H1, and the description are all very, very good. All right, keywords at the beginning of the meta keywords. Um, so are you actually utilizing meta keywords? You're not. Okay. So um, as you might know, Google is not utilizing keywords anymore, the meta keywords. Bing um, is not utilizing them anymore. But some of like the, the off search engines. Some of the search engines that are not as popular do utilize them. So it can't hurt to use them, um, but it's not crucial for the most important search engines. So no worries there. H1 tags are set for the post titles uh, on each page and post. So uh, as, a, as we've already seen, on some pages you're utilizing the H1 correctly. Um, let's check. Let's see something. Let's try some other pages just to so contact is probably your H1. Directions to my office is your H1. So that means that when people start searching for directions to my office, eventually that's going to show up. Um, that's not going to really help you. I would actually say um, make that something that has, it, has your keyword in it. So um, Hawaii uh, wedding photographer contact information, something like that. Something, you know, you can make it more clever if you want, but try to utilize your keywords in your in your H1. Now, let's see, just for this. So contact is your title. So again, that's not going to help you. Try to get your keyword in there. And description, address for creative video and photo concepts. So you want to get your keyword in there as well. Um... Let's see. Keywords are in alt tag. So let's see. Let's find a page that has some photos on it. So we can... I think their home page has some photos. All right. So let's take a look at this photo. So there's no alt tag in... Oh, yeah. It is here. Okay. So here you have photography 23 as your alt tag. Um, so again, decide if you want photography or photographer. And, uh, uh, for your home page specifically. Change the alt tag here. Remove the, the, the 23 because um, ideally numbers, uh, you don't want numbers in your keywords or alt tags. Um, okay, that's good. Search engine friendly sitemap. So let's see if you have a sitemap. See if I can find a sitemap for you. So here's a couple ways to try to test for it. Check a robots file if you have a robots file. You do have a robots file, but no sitemap is listed. So next thing to do would be try sitemap.xml. Not there. Try this sitemap.xml. No sitemap. So I don't see a specific sitemap. Um, you might have one somewhere, but I don't see it. If you don't have one, try to implement one and submit those to the search engines. Okay. 
So keyword is bold in optimized content. So I do see you have keywords here. You have additional things bolded. I'd remove those, the, the bolds and those because those are not your keywords. You only want to bold your keyword on each page. Keyword density. Um, let's see if I can do a quick test of keyword density. So I just ran a Hawaii, keyword, a Hawaii wedding photographer through a bunch of different keyword density tools and none of them were saying that it's too dense. So um, let's do another quick check just so you can see what would happen. So it looks like you have it here four times. Okay, you have it in here, up here in the menu. You have it as the H1 here, it's bolded here, and then you have it in H2. And by the way, I'd switch this. Um, I'd actually just remove the word contact because it's obvious that this is contact information. Um, so that, that would be my suggestion. But um, yeah, it's only here four times, so that's not bad. It might be, uh, if you can get it here in this, little, in this content here, it might be worth trying to get it one more time. Uh, it's up to you. I wouldn't push it. All right, so let's move on. You are linking internally. So let's see if you're linking internally. Here's planning tips. Okay, you got a couple internal links. Let's check out your blog. Actually, let's, yeah, let's check out the blog first. Experience. Okay, you're linking externally. You're not linking, <clears throat> excuse me, you're not linking internally uh, from a blog article. I'll check one more blog article. Hmm, this blog article is not even clickable. Something's going on here. I would recommend trying to check that out. email okay you're not linking internally so my suggestion would be try to find important keywords that you are trying to rank for so uh, Hawaii wedding photography Hawaii wedding planning right so write an article on Hawaii wedding planning because that could be useful to get um, clients and in this article change this to say Hawaii wedding planning and link to it okay that's one idea. All right, physical address. Yes, you have your physical address in the footer. That is good. Um, your keyword is used in H an H2 tag on every page or post. In the post, they're not. Um, let's try some pa other pages. So trash address service. So this, I think this is your H1. Yep. So that's your H1, and that's your H1. Uh, it's going to try to rank for Trash the Dress. So you might want to switch that to Hawaii Trash the Dress or something like that, whatever your keyword is um, that you're trying to rank for on this page. And try to get an H2 in there for the, for your keyword. Um, there's no H2 on this. Let's see. Home page. Is there an H2 on the home page? H2. Wedding photographer is your H2 on the home page and contact Hawaii. So this is the the footer widget that I was talking about. Take away the word contact. Um, and looks like that's it. All right, let's see what else. Contact is unique to your website. So here's how I find that out. I'm going to con copy all the text from your home page. I'm going to bring it into a tool that's a plagiarism tester or checker. And I can remove certain things. But I want the bulk of the text to be here. Remove your menu text. So now this is most of your text. And I'm going to hit check for plagiarism. And it's going to scroll down. It's going to search looking for if it exists. Now, it's going to tell me that it's, you know, most of these exist, which is because uh, it's actually on your site. So by going to Google, I can actually see, yes, it exists. Um, now, this is most likely you on Pictage. Let's try some others while that's loading. Same thing, Pictage. Um, this looks like it could be you, maybe? One, two, three people? Eh, probably not, but... Oh, it's just aggregating information, so that's not very important. Yeah, so this is you. Good. So, 
the important thing is that there's no duplicate content elsewhere. Um, of course, on Pictage, it's uh, you know about you, so it's important for it to exist. This is almost like a possible venue that you might have. Oh no, this is you too. Okay, so this brought back to your site. Looks like you have a resort domain. Um, make sure that's not indexed because that could be hurting your, your rankings as well. Because if it's indexing on two different domains, then yes, it is. So this is going to hurt you as well. Identical, uh, identical content on two different domains, even though it's only one website. So that's going to hurt you. So you got to look into that and make sure that whatever duplicate, whatever domains are, um, are mirroring your actual website, you've got to make sure those are not indexed somehow um, because that's just going to hurt you. All right, so let's move on. Uh, all content is close to 300 words or more. So your home page, it looks like it might be, which again, we can do a quick test. Counter 556, so you're good on there. Even if I remove the menu and footer stuff, you're still at over 500 words. Uh, let's try about you. Let's see what happens on the about page. So this is probably not close to 300. 207. So you could probably fill in some more if you can. Um, let's see what else. Let's try testimonials. It's not crucial. You probably yeah, there's 300 words here. No worries about that. Uh, let's try a blog. Your most recent blog article. Let's see if it's 300 words. And look, you have a link here that's um, in plain text. You need to turn that into an anchor text and link it to that same page. 200 words. So your blog, your blog articles, you can get some more um, content in there. And keyword in the beginning of the first paragraph of a page or post. So you don't really have a, sp a specific keyword here unless it's engagement, but that's very, very, very broad. But it is here in the beginning if it is your keyword. Um, let's see, so this should really be your Hawaii wedding photographer, or Hawaii um, engagement photographer, or whatever additional keywords you're trying to get. So another, another thing that you could be doing is uh, your homepage could be a Hawaii wedding photography and your about page could be Hawaii wedding photographer. Um, so here is your keyword, let's say. Um, it's not in the beginning of your text, so uh, you need it to be in your in the body of the content towards the beginning. So that uh, gets to the end of the DIY audit, and that's a quick overview of what you could do to see how well you're doing on your site um, for on-site uh, SEO optimization and what you could be doing. So. Um, I hope that this was help for, helpful for the photographer, and I hope that it's helpful for everyone else that's watching, that once you get your hands on this DIY audit, that you can um, you know, do a quick overview uh, review of your site and improve it for SEO and get ranking. So thanks for watching.